everyone good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are my name is axwell and this final cut pro tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create a walk by masking transition in your project coming up okay so you can see i have a clip here in my timeline and this is the perfect example for us to create the walk by effect transition because there's a lot of people passing by in the frame but anyway you can use the cars or any other object that pass throughout the frame i will add a link in the description down below of the clip and you can download it for free if you want to edit same as this one so what we need to do now is use the left and right arrow key to move forward and backward and next step we need to do is to find the subject to add the masking so for this tutorial this is the perfect subject we will use because it cover from the top to bottom so what we're gonna do now is move back using the left arrow key on your keyboard so that we can see the first frame of the subject so this is the first frame okay next step we're gonna do is to add a draw mask in our clip I'll open the FX browser and search for search for a draw mask this one and drag it all the way to the clip now we have the draw mask what you need to do is click around this area to start adding a control points but before we do that let me adjust the display first and this one right here select 50 and now we can start adding a control points around this area okay there is no limitation of adding a control points for me personally i like to add multiple control points so that later if there is a lot of movement of the subject i will have a points to adjust but anyway you can still add a control points again later and then what you need to do now is open the inspector under draw mask tool look for invert mask and check this box so this is the masking that you want to do now oh and then we need to add a feather on the masking click this icon diamond icon and in transform in position add keyframe rotation and scale as well as in control points add keyframe also so the use of the feather if you have the rough edges at this area or in the area of the subject that we apply the masking you have the control to adjust the softness of the masking okay so for now i will add 30 of the feather and for the rest i will leave it like that so for now we will close the inspector by clicking this icon so what we're gonna do now is select the uh, clip and then move to the right by pressing the right arrow key on your keyboard to move to the next frame and then follow or move the control point into the subject until the subject pass all throughout the frame it takes a lot of time of adding control points into the subject so you need extra patience then move forward next frame right arrow key same procedure follow the subject let's say you want to add a control points what you need to do is select the red line right click and there is a uh, option to add a point but for now i don't need the control points so i will leave it like that okay and i will fast forward to move us faster and save time here's a little quick tip for you idol now if it happened that you want to delete a control points what you need to do is right click the point and you have the option to delete okay and then let's move forward all right i think we are done adding all the points all throughout the frame so what we are doing now is to review or double check each points that which frame is not properly adding the control points so like this one what you need to do is move or simply adjust again the points so i think we are all set and to complete the masking what you need to do is go back to the first frame of the subject move back to the left by pressing the left arrow key the next step we need to do is move 
remove the entire control points and drag it all the way or out of the frame so after adding a mask on the clip so what we're gonna do next is we will put this clip under the first layer and it will look like this let me scroll it back and we have now a really really nice a cool effect transition so there you go that is how you create masking that's basically how it is then one more quick tip for you idol if you want to add sound effects to your video or project to add more emotions final cut pro have it for you so what you need to do is open the browser make sure you are in the music uh, icon this one and search for a uh, whoosh and this is a free built-in sound effects in final cut pro so i will use the whoosh number one select and drag all the way under the clip and one more sound effects to add <laughs> traffic city number eight drag it also to the clip and the music that will add a huge impact into your edit or project so i think that is it for today's tutorial i hope i help you in some sort of ways if you like this kind of content do not forget to like subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one